are looking at why this thing is over halfway sold out for the day. We have lost so many colors already because KitchenAid, when it comes to truly one of the biggest names in the world, not just this country, in the world, we are talking about the number one best-selling stand mixer brand on the planet. And we have for you today one of their best of the best because within the KitchenAid family, there are lots of different levels when it comes to their stand mixers. You'll see a lot of different designs, but what you're looking at today is truly commercial style. Now, commercial power that you are able to bring into your kitchen. And not only commercial power, but in addition to that, capacity, capacity, capacity. Six quart capacity here. What does that mean? 13 dozen cookies mixing up all at one time. But not only are you able to get everything that you want in terms of we're gonna give you this great configuration, but in addition to that, what we're also going to do is we are going to give you truly what I consider to be the most important, the best design, because you know why? Because of this right here. This right here means this does not go up and down. This goes up and down. The bowl moves, so you don't have to keep trying to lift that thing up put it back down, it's always unwieldy, it is always a little heavy, not any longer. You just turn the dial, lift it up, and that enables you to not only get everything out easier, but also to change out everything. And we're gonna give you plenty to change too, because you're gonna get the whisk, you are going to get the flex beater, this is great, it acts like a spatula. The dough hook, yes, it's coming with it. And not only that, this is your workhorse, your paddle right there. And I love that we're including the splash guard in addition to that. All of these extras, when I talk about the value, what you're getting today, okay? Look at this, okay? When it comes to KitchenAid, the KitchenAid mixer alone, typically a penny shy of $550. Adding that Flex Edge beater, another just about $50 value. If you purchase these separately, you're looking at almost $600. But when you look at our value today, what we're able to bring you, $349.99. And I'm gonna say it again because the savings is really that compelling. What is it, like a $250 savings today and free shipping and handling to boot. $349.99 on your flex payment, $70. Okay, so I'm gonna go through the colors that we have left. I think we've already sold out three or four colors already today. Four colors already sold out. So the one that you're looking at right here, this is gonna be our Aqua Sky. We have the final 200 that could sell out in this airing. Right down here in the front happens to be my absolute favorite, and I'll tell you why. It's matte white. It is like a pearlized white, and, and it doesn't really show on TV. I don't know how close we can get to this, but when you see it, like I said, it's almost like a pearlized color. It is just beautiful. Again, it's not shiny. You will find it to be a matte color. 90 left, so that's gonna go in this presentation. Right down here in the front, the other one that I absolutely love, because red is always our best seller, but we've got a couple of choices now in red. This is passion red. It is like an apple red. It is like that cherry red. It is bright and beautiful. The classic right up here is going to be your silver. Silver's been our best seller on the day. Again, you can see it's just slightly pearlized, okay? So this isn't shiny and it's not matte. It's kind of a little bit of both. And then right next to me, is our Empire Red, kind of the classic when it comes to, to KitchenAid. This is the day when even if you have never ever thought you could afford a KitchenAid mixer, well you may ha not have been able to because we have not been able to ever, ever bring you this particular model as a today's special, but we have not been able to bring you a KitchenAid stand mixer as a today's special in three years. It has been so difficult to get them, supply chain, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna go into that ad nauseum, we've heard about it. Well, the deal is we have them and we have them today, but frankly, with over half of our quantity now gone, this is the time and you have to act quickly, so make your choice. And don't forget, if you get this home, and you try it and you don't love it, we have extended our holiday returns through the end of January, the end of January. But this is an investment you make in your food, your family, your memories, your friends, and truly an, a, 
this is something that is multi-generational in many, many families. We actually heard from one person today who's had their KitchenAid for over 60 years. And because this is our Sunday gift list show, we're doing something special. So if you get social with us on Facebook, we'd love to know what is your favorite holiday treat? Is it cookies? Is it candy? All kinds of choices there. Mine is, I will tell you right now, it is when that peppermint ice cream comes out, that peppermint ice cream, they do it one time a year, and I absolutely love it with, and I crush up the um, Oreo cookies in it, okay? That's my favorite, let us hear yours, and you may get a $25 gift card if you are our winner today. So let's get to it and start mixing up some things because when it comes to KitchenAid, like I said, the power of what you're seeing, there are a lot of KitchenAid styles out there, a lot of KitchenAid models out there. You are looking at truly the one that functions in commercial kitchens, the power of 575 watts of power, the capacity of six quarts, so you could do 13 <laughs> dozen cookies. <laughs> Perfect for all those cookie swap parties that my mom always used to love to right. go to. And Amy Garten is joining us. Hi, Alice. Amy, you know, there is nothing like an investment, truly, that is going to be the centerpiece of your kitchen. You will use this constantly. You are right. This is, and then KitchenAid, KitchenAid is it. It is that iconic piece. I mean, you can find KitchenAid stand stickers in museums. This is that iconic piece. But I am so excited, like you said, that we are able to bring it here to HSN because we haven't been able to bring it here for so long. I have a double batch of my maple chocolate chip cookies. Okay. So for the, when we get to kind of fall time, I like to add a little maple. I like to add a little apple butter in there just to kind of spice it up for, uh, you know, the holidays. And I'm using that amazing pour shield, as you saw. It's able to put my flour in there without anything puffing out. You're getting that pour shield. It's BPA-free. And, of course, my favorite part about it is it goes right in your dishwasher. But what makes this so unique, the stand mixer, it is an all-metal construction, mm -hmm. 575 watts of power, that six quart stainless steel bowl and it comes with this great comfort grip right here so it's so easy to pop off which I will show you how to do but what is magical about this versus say a tilt head is that you have the power of the bowl lift I so this. I just dropped it down I'm gonna drop it back up. This can sit underneath your cabinets. You don't have to slide it in or out to lift that top or lift the bottom to get in. I've got the bowl up and I still have plenty of room to add ingredients. I drop the bowl down. I have even more room to add ingredients. It's just so user friendly. But I'm gonna show you how I've got, I'm using my Flex Edge Beater, which I call the windshield wiper because it really just cleans the sides of the bowl as it's going through. It's gonna mix in my chocolate chips into these maple chocolate chip cookies. And I, again, I have a double batch in here. I can walk away and let the machine do the work and look how beautifully it completely incorporates all of those chocolate chips without breaking them apart and without me having to do the work with my hands. You know, get the bowl out, my wrists, my hands hurting because you're working so hard. Let the KitchenAid do it. That, that's really what it's meant for us to make all of the things you do in your kitchen fun, easy, and, and you do the everyday things too. Like I want to show you, I've got some chicken here. I've got some poached chicken. So think beyond just baking cookies or baking cakes, but this will shred all of your meats. <laughs> Chicken, Amazing. pork, whatever it is that you shred. So if you're doing, Pulled you know, pork, Taco Tuesday, yeah. pork sandwiches, mm -hmm. any which I'll show you pork a little later. Anything like that. Don't stand there for 10 minutes and do the work. Let the KitchenAid do it. So if you want to make chicken enchiladas, chicken tacos. I've got to see this do. Yeah, wa watch this. I don't think I've even seen it. I don't think I've ever seen it. Yeah. A, a mixer that actually shredded chicken like that. But think Super Bowl Sunday. Just think uh, yeah. Monday night football night. We've got this great chicken dip that we're able to make. You can do the chicken enchiladas, anything. But I'm going to make it for you right here. So okay. I'm going to let the machine shred my chicken for me. We've right. got up to 10 speeds. I only have it on a four right now to shred my chicken. And wow. look how beautifully it's doing that <laughs> And look me. how powerful it is. And I don't have to do anything. Of course, I like to just put my pour shield on there, you know, just to have it there because I like to be tidy. But then I'm gonna do my supermarket shortcuts. I'm gonna add a can of tomatoes with some chilies in them. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna drop my bowl down. Look how easy that was. I'm gonna add my jar of queso that you can just grab at the supermarket. People are gonna think you're like a top chef. And I'm not, but I feel like it with that when I have my KitchenAid. Oh. 
I'm gonna add some cream cheese and then of course some taco seasoning and then I'm gonna let my KitchenAid do its magic. And I mean, typically, it, especially with something like cream cheese, you know, that could be so difficult in terms of getting it mixed. When you have this kind of power, yes. 575 watts of power, metal construction on this. This is why year after year, decade after decade, people love to invest in their KitchenAid. But when you get it home, at $349.99, right. <laughs> I mean, truly shop around. And I will tell you again, this is truly your commercial style, your commercial grade, the power you want, the capacity you want. But mostly for me, I'm gonna tell you that the one feature, it's that drop down. I do not have to lift up that top part anymore. Look at that. Yep. Look at how perfectly it's already blended. Right, and I'm using my flat beater and my to make my dip right here. I mm -hmm. use the flex edge beater for my cookies. But what's so great about the beaters that are coated is you can, those also, just like the pour shield, put them right in the dishwasher and they're so easy to clean. But look at that, it mixed everything so thoroughly in there for me. I didn't have to get my hands dirty. I didn't break a sweat. I can just throw everything in and stand by it and look pretty, you know. <laughs> I've already, Let it do the work. If you don't mind, Amy, I'm going to give everybody a, an update, okay? Because, like I said, we've already sold out of four colors. We're going to start losing many more in this presentation, okay? So if you want it in the white now, I have the final six dozen Ooh. in the white that is going to go in this presentation. Please, if, and you want that white, I'm telling you. Yes. Isn't it beautiful? It's prettier I in love person. The white. It is much prettier in person because it actually almost has a pearlized effect to it. It's not really matte and it's not shiny. It is gorgeous, absolutely elegant for your kitchen. If you want the silver, the silver has been our best seller on the day. We are now down to our final 1,000, okay, with over half of that quantity already ordered. So if you want the silver, it's selling the fastest. We are down to our final 1,000. The other color that is very limited is the Aqua Sky. We have the final 200 now in the Aqua Sky. So again, whatever color you want, like I said, four, already, four colors already gone. We do have it still in the Passion Red. 400 left in the Passion Red, and the Empire Red, which is the deeper, darker, more like a little bit of a brick color. How many do we have in that? 1,300 now in that. So like I said, over half of our quantity for the day gone. This is your chance. Three years, three years since we brought you any KitchenAid mixer. Any, at all. And this is your chance to get it because we have never featured this particular model, this is the model you want. I'm telling you, it is that drop down thing. Show me that bowl lift. It's just, it's, and it's not like, oh gosh, I'm good. It's just really effortless, yes. isn't it? And this is the model, this is the Pro 600. So this is the model that you're gonna see in professional kitchens yeah. with professional bakers and professional chefs. This is the kind that they use to do all of their heavy lifting. And that is to the difference between, say, a tilt head or a bowl lift. The bowl lift is made to do all of those heavy lifts items, the 13 dozen cookies, the eight pounds of potatoes, the eight pounds of bread. It's just meant to do those things. So I'm gonna do some uh, whipped topping right here. My secret to whipped topping, I don't know if anybody else does this, and so let me know if you do. I like to add instant pudding to it because it's almost like that stabilizer that helps kind of keep it lifted. Yeah. So I can put it in my fridge and it lasts for days. It doesn't instant fall Instant pudding flat. like vanilla? Instant pudding like vanilla. But if you wanna do, like I love to do, a, like if I do a coffee mm -hmm. whipped topping, I I like to add espresso fr flavoring, and then you can do chocolate pudding. You can do you can peppermint. Do, oh my gosh, you can do. You can do pumpkin. Any flavor pudding, but I love this. Look at this. You can make your own whipped topping How at fun. home. Any flavor you want to make. Okay, what gonna speed whip it is up. that on right now? So right now, I have it all the way on 10. So 10 is there the highest go. speed. <laughs> and what I love about this too is we have what's called a soft start. So I'll show you what happens. When I turn the mixer on for the first time, it's not gonna just full blast in, it's gonna soft start it and then full blast. That way you're saving yourself, there's no spill, there's no puff. It just is really nice a little bit and then it really kicks in. Mm -hmm. And I'll turn it all the way up and I'll make the most delicious whipped topping and, for and you. And you know what, there's not even any splashing. The way that this is designed is so brilliant, it is so well thought through. But you do get the shield as well. You get yeah. that poor, um, poor get shield. Poor shield yeah. So it, it functions to let you pour things in, but it also helps to prevent any kind of splashing so you, you don't have to clean up the entire kitchen oh, yeah. after you, you make some cookies or something. Yeah, you really can just kind of put all your mm -hmm. ingredients in. 
put the pour shield on, turn it on, and you can walk away if you need to take a phone call or just go work on something else in the kitchen. I love, again, it is, it really is that KitchenAid that does the work for you. It helps you, it gives you confidence. I gotta tell you how it got its name. So as I finish up my whip topping here, I'm gonna turn that off. I'm just gonna lower the bowl. Okay. And I'm gonna grab some whip topping in here. Mm -hmm. But I'm what I wanna tell you how, topping. I don't know where my how spoon they got is. Come on, where's my spoon? I'm gonna give this to you, and I've got a fork oh, here for you. Great, Look at even that better. Amazing whip topping. <laughs> I was just gonna ah. taste the topping, but I'll I'll top it off on something else. Why not have some little... angel food cake? Mm. I love it. So I have Why to tell you how KitchenAid got its name. KitchenAid, back in the day, they would send the KitchenAid. Well, they oh send the mixer. Isn't that so good? <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. What a difference! Number one, that that maple syrup made, but. It's the instant pudding. Yeah. It adds a different texture to yeah. it, and it just gives it this undercurrent of vanilla that mm -hmm. is so delicious. Yes. I love it, and it, like I said, it keeps, mm. you can make whipped topping, put it in your fridge, add a little instant pudding when you're whipping it, oh my God. and it'll stay lifted in your and fridge, I'm, I love it. I'm thinking about all the different flavors of instant pudding, banana. Oh my gosh, you oh have my. to do espresso, it's you're, my favorite. You're gonna go crazy yes. with this, this but is so fun. What executives did is they'd send the stand mm. mixers home, and one executive's wife said, I don't care what you call it, but it is the best kitchen aid I have ever had. So that's how they got their name. I think it's so much fun. It's the but best it really... kitchen topping I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to tell you about the best cake mm. I've ever had. Okay. So my grandmother, um, my grandma Dorothy, she never felt that she could be a baker. She just didn't feel that she, you know, could be a baker. And my grandfather's favorite cake was angel food cake. Well, the thing about angel food cake is you've got to get so much air in it because mm -hmm. the goal is whoever has the highest, tallest angel food cake and the lightest and the fluffiest, that was the goal to get. Well, my grandmother just didn't feel she could do that. Then she got her KitchenAid mixer and she had the confidence. Now, I didn't know that story until my mom told me because all I thought was, well, grandma made angel food cake, like, for every party, but I didn't know that she was afraid to make it until she got her KitchenAid mixer. When she got her KitchenAid mixer, she then felt so confident to make this cake that she made them all the time thanks to her KitchenAid mixer. And now, it's probably 50 years old. My Aunt Peggy has it, and it's still running. Yeah. I mean, that's KitchenAid is made to last. That's made, why you do this, but yep. that, this is why you do it today. Because our value is absolutely unprecedented. We have never brought you this, this particular commercial pro style. These are the ones that are used in commercial kitchens, guys. You're getting commercial power, 575 watts. You are getting the best design, in my opinion, yes. that KitchenAid does because you do not have to lift that big heavy top up anymore and lower it. Instead, the bowl lowers with just a little touch of a lever. It's so brilliant. But on top of that, you are getting something that will last year after year after year. We've been asking everybody to, to post on Facebook how long you have had your KitchenAid mixer. So far, I think 65, 65 years. 65 years. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's, that's like me. 65 years. <laughs> that I just think that's crazy. amazing. <laughs> I've lived a long life. That is crazy. Okay, I got to give you an update. The white is going to sell out in the next couple of minutes, guys. I have four dozen left now in the white. Okay, so if you want the white, I promise you, you're gonna love that and don't forget you know you have until the end of January for any reason that you want to return it but what you're not going to do is you're not going to you're not going to oh my gosh give this back you're, you're going to wish you'd gotten one for your daughter for your yeah. son for your best friend and said hey pay me back yeah or I mean what's what I think is even better I love the fact that KitchenAid stand mixers really they have so many stories to them because mm -hmm. I feel like everyone you know that you've all been posting we love the stories of I have my mothers I have my grandmothers and that is such a common thing with KitchenAid because they do they are built to last so you're able to pass them down to a family mm -hmm. member and then you can get yourself a new one I'm going to show you how to put this bowl in a second but just speaking of getting yourself a new one the power hub on the front here it is universal, so any KitchenAid stand mixer made from 1919 till today, over 100 years, wow. this power hub has never changed. So any attachment that you get will fit I think any our, mixer, which I think is amazing. Absolutely incredible, and they have so many attachments. We have uh, more they, they than have 10 attachments, right. and they're all mm -hmm. so great and I so fun. I don't know that we have any left. Um, I think all of our attachments have already out. sold out today. I will show you that we do have a set of uh, spatulas 
And the other thing you want is a slide out pan. I'm actually gonna walk over here and just give you a quick look at it because they've both been very popular. And like I said, everything else has sold out on the day. So you're gonna get three of your spatulas. These are so terrific. Um, and just slightly curved, beautifully done. You can either choose them in the red, the aqua. We also have it in a really pretty gray color too. Uh, $12.99 for the entire set. In addition to that, this is my favorite pan because you can bake the cookies or